Well, hello, family. Thank you for coming over tonight. Yes, tonight, tonight, we gotta talk about some stuff. Gotta talk about some stuff. Girl, love B. Scott. Man, love B. Scott put out the dirt today. Okay? And remember, as she said in her uh, column one time, a little uh, article she wrote, she was the first to tell us about the age was quitting or had got fired on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Let's play catch up now. Why these two ladies are kicking and candy was boycotting and, and soliciting votes to bring Phaedra, I mean, um, Kenya Moore back. Honey, NeNe Leaks have been boycotting Bravo too behind closed scenes trying to bring Phaedra back. And I know I think she coming back, y'all. And this isn't my mind, my world. And I'm just going off other top bloggers who know what they talking about because they get the inside scoop, okay? Yes, Lord. Phaedra back. <laughs> That's how we're going to look at it. And we're going to be covering every story. Because with Phaedra Pauls, honey, she's going to have several different storylines. She's going to probably be in fights with Nene for a sober week. Because we just know that's what Nene do. Everybody she bring back, she kind of have a little riff with them. But that's okay. She might get a little riff when she finds out that uh, Nene been hanging out with Apollo and his fiance. You know what I'm saying? She ain't going to like that. And, you know, she's going to be like, why are you teaming up with the enemy? You know what I'm saying? But it seems like she had some growth while Apollo was up, uh, locked up, upstate and stuff of that matter. So maybe she has changed her ways or her viewpoints on her ex-husband. Who knows? It just depends on if that fiancé stay in line, okay? Because then them claws going to come out and I'm going to be right there for them. How she say, oof, 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 oof. Um, Lil B. Scott, uh, the Lil Muffins. Y'all remember her? Yes. Or him, I should say. But, honey, that's going to be a dynamic duo team. They're going to be better than them clowns right there. All right, Kiki and he he and all that kind of stuff and trying to say, you know, Portia had said this, that, and the third. Well, what about what y'all said, uh, Phaedra? I mean, Phaedra, uh, Kenya and uh, Candy. What did y'all say? Don't just put Nene out there. Don't just put Portia out there. What did y'all say about Nene behind them closed doors, okay? But, honey, yes, Phaedra coming and she trying to figure out who she can knock off the block, okay? And I'm sure she going to be gunning. Yes, Nene going to want her to be gunning for candy. Yes, we all going to want that, don't we? Because we want some truth out this matter. And we know she already tore up Kenya Moore from the flow up when she was messing with Apollo. Okay? Trying to say she's being very disrespectful to their marriage and everything by Apollo picking her up. Now, I ain't going to throw no total salt on Kenya because it takes two to play in that field of uh, infidelity. But, honey, she was saying when she did got, got let go that she didn't think she would have plans to return, but she wouldn't say never, okay? And we know Phaedra Paul been out in them social media streets with men, without men, showing her body, keeping her body in check. And, you know, that's going to be a good alliance. She's going to tear them two up. That's Candy and Kenya, KK. <laughs> she going to get KK and tear them up. And this is going to be a southern ass whooping. Okay, a southern bell whooping on them two that think they southern us. Okay. Honey, Candy thinks she said Atlanta is hers. Wait till Phaedra Paws come back, baby. <laughs> and Nene and Herbie touring the town along with Portia Williams. Child, you know we got Dennis on lockdown. He gonna cut up and give um um Portia a storyline. Hey, then Phaedra got a storyline, sell a storyline. She can have one where she getting into the fiance behind that Apollo don't creep herself into with and still ain't got married. What's up with that? That's a storyline. Did she have a storyline where she could talk about her many men? Um, and probably one in the works. We don't know. And then she can have one with Nene, turning on Nene about going out, hanging with her ex, okay? Whoo, but we know Nene just want the fire because she tired of getting the hits and she wants somebody else to take the hits for a while. And who then none other than Phaedra Paul? She don't care. She get down and dirty with the best of them because if she found Paulo at the deep darkest time and well, I guess it was, she was just horny, I guess. I don't know. But she fell on hard times when she looked up the prison system to try to go hook up with a mate. You see what I'm saying? Nice looking mate. 
he was only doing white collar crimes, but still. So I commend Nene for coming out, boycotting for Phaedra Pause to come back. But let's get on into this juicy story. Let's talk about Love B. Scott and her article she put out on her platform. You know, she's a very big blogger out there. She's no stranger to the celebrities out in the entertainment field. Honey, they know her. You say Love B. Scott, they know who exactly who you talking about, okay? But anyway, yes, I got the commentary and the article from lovebscott.com go over there and check her out she's been out she's been credible let's go with her show some love and if you do go over to her platform tell them Dev chanel family uh for this world sent you over there Dev chanel's for this world with the family fail yes we sent uh people over there to congregate and sit and see what she got to talk about okay but anyway we're gonna go into this article it was titled exclusive rumblings of phaedra park returning to the real housewives of atlanta as a friend of the show are getting louder and i'm like bring it on put the drums put the snails put the trumpets who child put the flutes out there just make one whole big orchestra band to bring phaedra parts back and not that old crazy mess kenya moore did with her four piece woman band she showed up at marlo hampton's event okay not that kind of mess okay that's foolery that's fake food Excuse me, fake foolery, fuckery, fraudulent, shitty activity that we don't expect for Phaedra Pauls to bring. We want her to bring the smoke, the heat, the marijuana, the barbecue, the uh, cigarettes cooler. We want to sit down and we want to chit chat and kiki and what other than a southern bear like Phaedra Pauls, okay? <laughs> and her philandering ways because you know she ain't clean either. She ain't clean either, okay? But we all have our flaws. We all have our faults. Don't judge us. Okay. But anyway, getting into the article, it says, Will the ladies of the Real Housewives of Atlanta be joined by a familiar peach next season? Well, let's see if we get rid of Eva. Cynthia go on to spend her time with her future husband in L.A., uh, who else? Candy. She can make her exit while she's getting these spinoffs. And I kind of remember she did have three spinoffs. She had Candy Coated Nights was one. Then she had the ski trip. And then she had her wedding thing. So I don't caught up with it because it bothered the hell out of me. And I couldn't remember what the third one was. So I got that for y'all. All right. And I haven't forgot about some things people have sent me videos to look at. I, I, I'm going to get to them. I just had the time. Okay. I just had the time. When time permits itself, I will go back. And uh, I was going to check on that uh, thing for Amy, A A V Amy. I don't forgot your name, baby, but you know who you are. Uh, you wanted me to check in to see it was uh, that's a legal marriage or silver marriage that Kenya Moore was uh, calling herself, giving us a certificate of knowledge in. I'm going to check out that, too. Okay. Don't know when it's going to happen. I say for Christmas. <laughs> Hopefully for Christmas, girl, I get it out to you. But it's like Riley Burris says, better late than never. Y'all remember that uh, rap can had made that girl put out there. Child, please, that child ain't rap since. So who idea was that? Who idea was that to bring uh, Riley in the entertainment business? Whew, sound like Candy Burris to me. But anyway moving on you know i do my sidebar here and there but we go back to the article it says sources tell lovebscott.com that self-proclaimed southern bell phaedra parks is exploring a return to the show when we say exploring we like cha-ching phaedra don't care she come back as a friend of the show uh uh um uh uh, 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 uh a foe of the show or just Popping up in a cameo. Just a little bit. She been knocking at that door. She been putting her resumes out. She ain't never let that taste out of her mouth go. Uh-uh. That's like fine wine. <laughs> Bravo Entertainment. True. One entertainment. She like, uh-uh. Let them in, honey. Don't have them sitting outside. Invite them in right now. Let's see what they're trying to tell me. What they're trying to put in my purse. Because it's getting kind of dry. You know what I'm saying? Not like the Sahara Desert. Okay? Not like that. But... It's getting like Arthur comes. Things are freezing up on me, and I can't handle that. We can't handle no criminal activity. We already got one criminal in the family, okay? And we're trying to live it down. I'm just saying. Uh, but anyway, I'm going back to the article. It says, while earlier reports claim Phaedra could return as a full-time housewife, our sources state that as of now, she's being considered to return in a friend role. Well, hell, we bought Kenya Moore back as a friend. Yes, we did. Mm-hmm. And look, that turned for her. 
back into a peach, okay? So miracles can happen. Yes, they can. They happen every day. Hallelujah. Okay, and Bravo knows it's the, the tide is turning on their uh, side too. The writing is on the wall. All right, because all the, all the housewives, Atlanta housewives of Atlanta are the strongest ones that are out there because they keep up the shit every time you turn around, okay? And then they in the tabloids all the time, all right? Speaking of Portia and Dennis McKinley, mm-hmm, if she can just put him on a leash, but then again, she probably had to let that dog go play because that dog gonna come back home, but sometimes he just got to play, play, play. How old uh, was that DMX? Uh, I'll be back or something with Aaliyah. Take me back, get, come back in one piece, yes. So, y'all know who I'm talking about. I don't forget it. <laughs> I'm not even going to tip the uh, uh, rocket for y'all. But it was back and come back in one piece, I think, with Aaliyah and DMX child. He said, I got to roam. I got to roam. Even Tupac had said, just let me go. Let me go. I know where my home man, but let me go. I got to go in the streets. I got to get in the street with my boys. Okay, but anyway, that's just my sidebar. Going back to the article, it said uh, Nene Leakes have been publicly com- campaigning for Phaedra's return amid her ongoing feud with Candy Burris. As previously reported, Candy is the reason Phaedra has been effectively barred from the show until this point. Okay, and I'm saying, oh, does she get another spinoff that she think it's going to be lucrative? I'm pretty sure they had that set up. They probably set Candy up and she didn't know she was getting set up too. Follow me with this thinking, okay? They wanted Phaedra to come back, you know, after the dust has settled, you know, a year or so. Uh, they want her to come back. She's good. She's very good for TV, okay? But uh, they had this little ew, dark stain. Candy always sitting there reminding them. So they probably said, let's give her a little spinoff, okay? Give her about four or five episodes. And maybe she'll leave us the hell alone. And maybe she'll, and then again, maybe it'll be fruitful for her and we can still make money off her behind, okay? And they probably sat in that boardroom and thought that through. Got their big wig, lawyers involved, their attorneys searching out any loophole that can, de- you know, get them out of the mess so they can bring whoever they want on the show. That's why I said, sometimes some entertainers dig holes for themselves, okay? <clears throat> and I'm like, hmm. Candace pockets deeper. They ain't deeper than Bravo. They ain't deep, deeper than the entertainment business, okay? <sighs> but that's how I feel about it. I think they're tired of Candy. They know Candy's not bringing anything. And they had to sweeten the pot for her. As to dismiss, dismiss her and bring her back as a friend of the show. And that's cutting it low. Because they don't have to pay uh, Candy her salary. They'll pay her another salary for her to do like Kim Zosiak. Sink or swim, baby. Sink or swim. All right. And that's probably gave Candy that lifeline too. So if Candy come back as a, you know, a cameo here and there scene or she comes back as a friend of Kenya, that's cool. Because that's all we really see her as anyway. She's a number two person. She ain't always the number one. She might be number one with her family and all this, that, and the third. Don't count that piece out. But just in the entertainment field, she is a C is lister. That's all I'm going to say. C lister and a backup singer. Because she ain't, mm-mm, no. Don't put her on them vocals that she's the main focus. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. But that's just my sidebar. Going back to the article, it said Nene had uh, also been hesitant to confirm her willingness to return for season 13. Nene, who you kidding? Girl, as long as they breaking your off a check you gonna be there even though you weren't seen in a lot of episodes of season 12 and you said you put it that way because you got paid like you were being seen you just only weren't featured that much but the pay was still the same now if that's a story you want to tell yourself all day long and you live with it in your mind i'm fine with it too okay talk you talk walk you walk i don't give a shit i ain't getting no money i'm just viewing you pretty much and making a little little money i make here and there our videos okay but i ain't no shame in your game baby if you want to do that if that's the world you living in and you think you the ace boo cool go on and toot your own horn ain't nobody gonna toot it loud as you can okay do you girl but uh yeah then you gonna take that check they're gonna have to get rid of her or make her a lucrative deal where she gets a spinoff and it'd be something similar to what uh, Kim Zosiak has and what Candace is trying to attain and then Nene can go on and filter herself as well but you know when you think about Real Housewives of Atlanta yes you do first of all you think about Nene Leakes and then Kim Zosiak because them were the two fools Ooh, they were crazy they were crazy when they first started out with Sheree trying to tug on wigs and shit them three really <laughs> says, Woo! Sheree played out because she really didn't have a storyline. You know, especially with her not being married to her ex football player no more. And he was more of a joke and an entertainment than Sheree could ever be anyway. But, um, 
Nene pretty much just saw the show as herself, and she made it to be a household name where we all uh, enjoy looking at her. But see, Nene done change money, change you. You either gonna be good with money, you gonna be bad with money. You either gonna love money or you gonna hate the Lord. You can't have both of them. So right now, Nene's pretty much hating on herself as well, okay? Because she just don't know which way to go. But it just is what it is. So she trimmed down some of that. Uh, uh, healthy meat she got over there with these cars with these uh house with all the things she's trying to do she could streamline some stuff and then she'll be much happier and she could see her money being a little bit more fruitful because i'm sure all of them are getting it hard with all those um clothing uh boutiques and restaurants that they have uh locked their sales into uh definitely have you know took a toll i'm pretty sure they tried to request some um, help from the state or from the government uh, during their t difficult time with holding these restaurants down and still trying to pay their staff and this, that, and the third. But it just is what it is, okay? But then it ain't going nowhere. They got to put her out. Got to put her out, honey. She ain't going out without some ruckus. You can trust and believe that. But anyway, getting back to the article. They said Nene also been hesitant to confirm her own willingness to return for season 13. So with Phaedra's possible return, it would give Nene one more person to film with besides Portia Williams. Okay, let us remind you, we were the first to report that Phaedra Parks was fired. We'll keep you updated with any further details. And I'm like, girl, B. Scott, I'll be there with you, honey. I'll be right there with you whenever you want to throw something out. And it's tantalizing and it's making my spider senses peek up and like, ooh. God, that gonna be good. That's like eating popcorn and a soda and some juju bees or some goobers or raisinets at the uh, movie theater. But I take my home, build me up a movie theater, and stay here because that corona kicking button to me to be locked up with a lot of people and we ain't six feet and you ain't my family that I live with. I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it, people. Maybe 2022, I may feel better about the whole situation. But 2020, uh-uh. We ain't doing too much of nothing, okay? And we still getting in that house be uh before 9 o'clock. We ain't got nothing to do out there. We ain't got nothing to do out there past 9. So I'm curfewing my own self. The governor said we can do what we got to do. And return back to normal. Even the president said it also. But they could kiss my behind. I ain't doing none of that. <laughs> I'm going to be in seclusion as much as I can. And keep watching. Keep side eyeing. And keep alert. Alright. But that's all I have for this video guys. Y'all get down in them comments. Like I know y'all will. At y'all leisure. And tell me. What do y'all think about this fake foolery. Fuckery fraudulent shitty activity. That is going on. Of the shake up of cast members. Some leaving. Some coming back. So I'm coming back as part time. I don't know. But honey with Phaedra Parks, that Southern Belle, with all her kikis and hee hees and ha ha's and her uh, slick ass tongue and mouth. Girl, we got good made for TV. Thank you for Bravo for bringing her back. Thank you. <laughs> but that's all I got, y'all. And y'all enjoy the video. Like, comment, and share. And I will see y'all next time. Peace.